Hey everyone, it's Ability44, what's up with RS, and um, I'm sorry about the attire, but I do not have my update shirt and I left it at my house, so. And I would love to give you one, but I don't have one. Cody doesn't have an update shirt. Z Buffering came out to RuneScape today, and it's a graphical update to the OpenGL, which is a graphical setting that you can actually choose on your RuneScape graphical settings options. Jagex actually says on the main update page that it runs OpenGL and DirectX graphical options 50% faster than the old buffering system. We really can't see any main things happening with this update at the moment, but I believe that we will be able to see graphical updates that are just amazing in the future. Now, there's a lot of other news to actually talk about in this update. With the Z Buffering update, the Wilderness Ditch became a little... I don't know, weird, and they actually had to switch it to a wall, but it will still take the same amount of time to actually get over that wall to get into the wilderness from Edgeville or from wherever you jump over to the wilderness from. They've also given us a little access to the developer console, which you can access by pressing the button directly above the tab key. And a simple way to actually find commands that you can use in this developer console would be to type help and then press enter when it pops up. There was a few graphical updates to the skill capes on females, so now they will be the same length of male skill capes. Now when you lose connection on RuneScape, or it's loading something on the game, it will actually come up with like a new type of picture which kind of looks really cool, instead of just the black box that you used to get. And an update that I thought was really cool is that you can now change the color of your clan chat when somebody speaks in it. Now to find this, you would go into your settings and click on the two little chat bubbles. For the clan chat color will be the first one that actually is shown when you click on the two chat bubbles. Another really cool other news update was now that when you walk into a dungeon or the dungeon actually starts, your bounded items will actually automatically equipped to you, including your Ring of Kinship. You can now examine the compost bins and see if they are holding 0 or 15 compost in them. Also within your world map, if you hover over an agility icon, it will show you the level that you need to actually get over that agility shortcut. Elf Teleport Crystals, the Explorer Rings, and the Falador Shields have now been made more user-friendly by having their options switched around. They've also resized some of their text that was a little small in some areas, and they were able to increase the selection of farming seeds in the Vine Sweeper minigame area. Cody and I went to the mall today to see what they thought about the RS updates, and here's a short clip. Roll the film, Cody. Huh? Roll, roll the film. Shh. Hey everyone, we're here at FYE. We're going to ask some questions to some people in here, so let's go. So pretty much what I'm going to do is ask people around the mall, where I live, if what they think about the updates. So, hope you all are ready for that. Hey, man. That's how RuneScape membership cards here, right? Uh, if you do the upfront with the other gift cards. Okay, well, can I ask you a few questions about it? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Um, what do you think about the compost bins? Like, how you can tell how full they are now. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, I actually don't play RuneScape. Why? Uh, because I play World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, Final Fantasy XI. Uh. Do you remember Tibia? Tibia, yes. That's like a bone in my body, right? Yeah, for a while there was a weird kind of argument between people who were for Tibia, people who were for RuneScape. You know, it was on the Tibia front. Sort of like the old school Nintendo versus Genesis. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks, man. You're welcome. Yeah, at the time that we went, pretty much everybody was just closing up shop. So, yeah, we'll probably pick a better time to go next time. <laughs> Cody's back there playing RuneScape. I really